Hello, today we're going to talk about Tibialis raises. Now, you've probably seen footage of people doing it at your gym. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it, okay? As you can see in the footage, I'm using an ankle strap. That's all you need. You don't need to buy any expensive contraptions. You don't need to use a kettlebell. You just need an ankle strap. Now, I'll tell you why I use the ankle strap. Because I've tried the kettlebell, and if you, if you have ever tried a kettlebell on your foot, it's a basically a bar of steel wrapped around your shoe and it hurts okay so i don't like using kettlebell on my shoes and uh i've seen contraptions that you can buy i don't you don't need to spend money okay every gym has an ankle strap so go get the ankle strap and wrap it around your shoe using a dumbbell so i'm using a dumbbell it's a 20 pound dumbbell as you can see and how many reps am i going for i'm going for 100 now why 100 because if I go for anything less than 100, I don't really feel it, okay, long term. And you got to think about the tibialis as the muscle that you use for running, walking, or jumping, or any kind of sports. And you're not doing 20 steps, are you? Okay, so stop thinking about 10, 20 reps. Think about the long-term effect on the tibialis, okay? You're running long distance. You're stepping thousands of times, okay, using your, your tibialis. So... I go for 100. So you can see I use a bench, take one foot, boom, I swap it out to the other foot. See, that's the great thing about using the ankle strap. You just strap it on. You don't need to adjust it, okay? Now, if your shoe or your dumbbell is too big for one ankle strap, just get two. So I get two ankle straps, and I just Velcro them together, all right? So you can make a Frankenstein strap. It's just basically Velcro, all you need. Velcro will hold you up. And I know it's not a full range as you're probably thinking, okay? I don't think about that, okay? Because you think about it, when you're walking, running, or jumping, or doing sports, are you doing the full foot flexion every time? No, you're not, okay? So think about reality here, and that's what I'm thinking, okay? When I do it, I don't go for clean. I go for just dirty reps. So I go for 100 until I feel it, or more. If you can do more than 100... Hey, more power to you, okay? So just think about it long term, all right? Just like imagine yourself walking, running, playing sports for, for a long period of time, okay? And yeah, just try to go for more than 100 if you can, all right? So that's all I have to say for now. Good luck on your training. I'll see you next time. Bye.